It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. At such time in the lifetime of a man shall he count all the blessings of the Lord and return with thanksgiving for all he has received. Our dear beloved husband, father and brother, the Reverend Canon Taiwo Onolapo Awoshika, having enjoyed the faithfulness of the Lord these 70 years, is eternally grateful for what the Lord has done. He was born a twin on the 9th of April 1949 into the Christian family of Mr. Joseph Ayola Awoshika and Mrs. Juliana Motunde Awoshika Ni Olawashiko both of blessed memory. His parents were both from Ondo Kingdom in the western part of Nigeria. Growing up in the city of Lagos, Reverend Canon Taiwa Woshika started his educational pursuit at St. John's School, a raw lawyer Lagos between 1955 to 1961, where he proceeded to Elisha Grammar School, Elisha Oshun State, for his secondary education from 1962 to 1967. Because of his desire for quality education, he traveled out of the country to former West Germany in 1972 to attend Fatshaw Ceramic Land Short from 1972 to 1975 and College of Technology Ceramic Products, SELB, from 1975 to 1978. He later proceeded to attend the College of Technology, Stoke, on Trent, England in 1982 before returning to Nigeria. Upon his return to Nigeria, he worked at Niger Grub Fort Slim Products of Ekuta from 1980 to 1982, Ceramic Manufacturer Limited, Kano from 1982 to 1987. In 1987, he joined the Eleganza Group, which was one of the foremost manufacturing companies in Nigeria at the time where he rose through the ranks to become the Group Managing Director before he retired to start his own company in 1999. His companies, Talso Ball Nigeria Limited, Stain Free Nigeria Limited, and Ceramoki Nigeria Limited are mainly into industrial cleaning and pest control. He is one of the biggest players in the field of industrial cleaning in Nigeria with a lot of satisfied customers on the service of his companies. the footsteps of his father, who was the people's warden of St. David's Anglican Church, Lafiaji, Lagos, Reverend Canon Awoshika joined the Evangelical Society and also actively participated in the activities of Tuesday Anointing Group and Church Planting Group of the Church. He is also a member of YMCA and Founding of Hope Society, where he served meritoriously for many years. In the year 2008, the Diocesan Bishop of Lagos Anglican Dances, His Grace the Most Reverend Ephraim Adebola Ademowo, selected the then Mr. Taiwa Wushika and some other professionals to join the Lagos Anglican Seminary. He was subsequently ordained a deacon in July 2010 and priest in July 2011 at the Cathedral Church of Christ, Lagos. In recognition of his dedication and service, the bishop preferred him a canon in the year 2016. About 10 years ago, he was called into the ministry. And we started our ministry from Holy Trinity, Butero, and ended up here in our Savior's Church TBS. Our family church, St. David's Church, Lafayette has been so helpful. And uh, if I start to mention names of people who have been there for us, we will not end here. But I want to specially mention the right reverend, Jide and Foluke Adibayo, the current bishop of Igbomina West, 
they have been so very wonderful to us. They are father and mother in the Lord. They are role model. They are mentors. And they are spiritual parents. We love them so much. His ministerial duties that began as an ordained in St. David's Church, Lafayette, also took him to the Holy Trinity Church, Ibutero, and our Saviour's Church, Tafar Balewa Square, Lagos, between 2008 till his retirement in 2019. He's a, a very strict and disciplined man, but still he loves. He still have a shoulder to lean on. There's always his shoulder for you to lean on. He's always a frank man. His own is the truth, only the truth, nothing but the truth. He does not know how to go about, um, say, how do you want to go about this? You just hit the nail on the head straight. Sometimes I tell him, you don't need to go through that. You don't need to hit the nail on the head. Like that. You, know I mean? you know how you, there are some things that you have to modify. You, 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 want, you don't want to just make it look so stern. But we'll say, no, that's me. I will say my own and that is it. And we've been together for that long. Sometimes we fight and we go, I mean, we quarrel and we see settling it back. But most times I understand why he does what he does. He met his heartthrob, Mrs. Adesola Awushika, over 40 years ago and they have enjoyed a robust and blissful marital life together. He was then a young bachelor some 42 years ago. I met him after my completion of secondary school, 1972. And we courted for about four or five years before we got married. Ever since, it's been a long journey. The road has been rough and tough, but the Lord has been there for us every moment of our lives. He loves his family so much and values the educational growth. This is evident in the fact that his children are graduates in various academic fields. And when the children started coming, he was there for us. We made sure we train our children the godly way. And he's been so good ever after. He loves God and humanity and he gives bountifully to the work of God and the people around him can testify to his magnanimity. I was once the secretary of the Awushika Descendants Union for so many years. If there is going to be a program, if he's not there, if there is going to be a meeting, if he's not there, they will start to look for him. He's an organizer. He knows how to arrange programs, settings, an advisor. And um, so many things. A mentor, an encourager, a counselor, a teacher, and a preacher. The Reverend Canon Taiwa Awashika, as he clock the age of 70 today, we will celebrate with you and pray for you for longevity in sound health and prosperity. You will live to enjoy the fruits of your labor in Jesus' name. Happy birthday and happy retirement. Dad, happy birthday. Make sure you eat all the goodies that we planned for you today. Make sure you eat all the goodies that we made for you today because <laughs> you only get to be 70 once in your lifetime, right? Yes, I, I just want to thank you for being very supportive and you know just helping me build myself to grow and to be like a better person and for always being very supportive as well because you're like my number one fan and i'm super grateful for that i wish you all the best and i pray that god will grant you all your heart desires and um yeah make sure you have fun because i know you know how to do that a lot yeah, great. Oh, 
Let's rejoice for all what he has done. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. My crown, my love, my darling. Reverend Canon Taiwo, I wish you, I wish you happy birthday. Longevity in good years. You will continue to swim high on eagle wings, and you will swim in the glory of God forever and ever. As you clock 70 today, longevity in robust health shall be your portion. You will not bury your head in shame, and you will not bury any of your children. It shall be success all through, and you will be, you, you, you live long to eat the fruit of your labor, over your children and over your grandchildren. Your children and your grandchildren will surround your table, and it shall be well with you all the days of your life. In your retirement, you will not be ill. You continue to serve God to the end, and you finish with exceeding great joy. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. I wish you happy birthday and I love you. On behalf of myself, the children and the grandchildren, we say happy birthdays.